What's up, my shining stars? I hope you're shining bright. Not letting anybody dim that light. That's right. All right. Mwah, mwah. <sighs> I feel, I'm moving a little bit too fast, guys, so don't laugh at me, all right? So, uh, <laughs> welcome to my channel. This <laughs> Welcome to my channel. My name is Trinity. This is all about the healing. Can't forget the call, right? Before I get to my ride and dies, I can't forget the call, right? So one, one, one to my ride and dies that's been rocking with me from the beginning of my time. Welcome, guys. Love you, love you, love you. My new subscribers, one, one, one. Thank you. I'm honored and welcome uh, for my energy exchange. Thank you guys who have been donating. Thank you so much. I appreciate you. Mwah, mwah, mwah. For those who want to donate, go ahead on and make it happen because this is on good ground right here. You shall reap what you sow, right? Donate, tip, whatever you want to call it. It's still reaping what you sow. 10, 20, 100 fold right back at you. On the flip side, for those of you that's hating, Try to manipulate the numbers, trying to um, uh, send a negative energy, evil eye to me, my family, whatever. Just know I'm riding high, high vibing, sitting on my throne, looking good, smelling, smelling good. The beauty spell's not working and my health is in charge. So all of those things that you're giving me your time, your focus and attention, you're giving me your money, you just... It's just not working. You're just wasting your time. But you'll see in time when everything works out. I just want to give you that little nugget. And let you understand that it ain't going to happen. It ain't going to work. It ain't going to stop. Ain't going to stop. Can't stop. And won't stop this show. All right? It is so, so be it in our shame. All right. So with all of that being said, we are, we're going to honor the sign of... Uh, uh, uh. Taurus, bam, Taurus. Taurus, thank you for all the love, honey. Thank you for all the love, all the views. Thank you for rocking with your girl. I appreciate it. Every last comment, every last emoji, every last view, every last like, I appreciate it. I send that positive love, that pos positive energy back at back at you. And all my new subscribers, I really, truly, at the bottom of my heart, welcome you with a warm welcome. And let's do this thing, okay? All right, let's do it together, right? Okay. All right, so Taurus, this is going to be... A short, very short sucker punch energy check-in, right? I don't know what it's going to be about. Didn't didn't um, ask Spirit no question. I'm just going to read the card and what Spirit deems necessary, necessary to let you know it is so, right? So overall energy is the Ace of Winter. So this is the Ace of Swords. In, in uh, traditional tarot, the Ace of Swords is the hand. <laughs> no, 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 no. It's not the hand. It's not the hand, is it? In traditional tarot, it's clarity. It's clarity. It's um, truth. It's honesty. That sword is getting the sword of truth. I call it the sword of truth. When the, when the Ace of Swords come out, the something is about to um, transpire in your life. It's going to be a sword. It, it might cut you or it might cut somebody else up. But it's going to be a truth that um, it might hurt, right? Or it may be a truth that comes in and uh, correct all kinds of things, uh, correct uh, uh, or uh, to set all the crooked places straight in your life. Or in a situation. The sword of truth. The ace of sword is so powerful. It's very very powerful. It's the ace. It's the beginning. It's the beginning. It's the start of maybe something that was deceptive. Maybe coming in. And um, setting, it, setting it straight. Setting the truth. Uh, setting a new foundation of truth and honesty. Coming in. And, uh, as coming in and opening up uh, energy for truth and honesty and clarity. 
it's just this card here and this energy. It, it it's like it's um uh, it's cold. That's why I said it the, the swore to come in and just cut you. It's so cold. But it's something that needs to be cut. It's something that needs to be trimmed off. It's needs something, it's something that needs to be cut off. That you can't do on your own. That 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 ace of sword, that sword of truth have to come in and help you. Sometimes it has to help you cut off that fat or help you cut. All right now. <laughs> That's confirmation. Help you cut it off. Help you get that clarity to cut it off. It's something like that. This is a lot. Let me the card says, don't be deterred by challenges along the way. It's important to communicate clearly and accurately. Amazing new ideas that should be implemented. Right? So what I'm getting at also with this is that communicate. Somebody is wanting to communicate a truth. They lied to you. They was not honest. They were not truthful and authentic with you. So they want to come back in and communicate the truth. They want to tell you the truth. They want to, to, they want to be honest and set the record straight. Um, maybe you... Maybe they lied to you and you're thinking one way. Maybe they lied to you, you found out and um, you only know one side of the story and it's another side of the story. They want to set something straight and want to set the record all the way straight. They want all the truth to be told um, is what I'm getting from this. Okay, so we got a Gemini man here. So a Gemini masculine energy could be a male or female, but it's a Gemini. Um that could be present um air so it could be any air sign but gemini is um is um significant you got virgo oh you got people here you got virgo so you got a virgo and you got a gemini that could be dealing with a taurus you got somebody watching your facebook they watching your Facebook. They are trying. They trying. They stalking your Facebook. They are trying to figure you out. They you. It is. They trying to. They trying to figure you out. But they trying to watch you so they can come in and tell you some type of truth. It's something that they want to tell you. It's some truth that they want to tell you. Something that they want to express to you and communicate to you. But they are watching you watching your facebook to see where you are in life what are you doing are you seeing anyone are you they're trying to find you find out what is going on with you through your facebook this person could have short hair a shortcut this could uh, this person could have a fade this poor person could have um just a short cute do but they have short hair, a curly do, you know. Um, this could be a no good ex. Um, wants to play games. Somebody wants to come back in and talk and play like they um, want to tell you some 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 truth, and then they uh, they're really playing games. They really were trying to run game again, but at this point. Yeah, with this, with this sword of truth, they're not going to be able to do it. This, this sword is coming in and it's going to be prominent. When anybody speak to you, anybody come to you, this sword is going to be standing. This sword is going to be standing right there. When they open up their mouth, if it's not the truth, that sword is going to slap, uh, slap it off. They're going to cut that truth. They're going to cut it. They're going to cut, cut that truth, dice it up. And it ain't going to be pretty. Okay. Somebody want to let you know they feel such a void now that you are gone. I miss you so much. Somebody misses you. You've let go of somebody. This person wants to come back in and they want to talk to you. They want to um, collab with you. They want to feel your energy. They want to be around you again. They want to see your face. They want to touch you. They want to um, 
just be around you. They miss your presence. They miss your energy. It's just a void. It's just an empty space in their life without you. Right? Okay. They miss you. This is a message. Um, you may be a light worker. Somebody's a light worker in the dynamic. We already talked about that light. The light at the beginning. I talked talk to you about the light. If I don't remember if I did. But the light is your purpose, your destiny. A light worker, that is a part of your, your personality, is part of your aura, is part of who you are. You can't dim it. You can't run away from it. It is who you are. So somebody is a light worker. Now, I don't know if it's whoever it is. This, If you're a light worker, some type of truth is getting ready to come in. Some type of, you, you're getting ready to either get a gift of the sword of truth, is going because this is a gift it's a gift to have the sword of truth when you open up your mouth you can slice people up by what you say you have such a truth to you have such a truth and so much honesty and power about power behind your words you slice and dice people up just like that but with this, you have to, ha you, you, you have, it is very, you have a responsibility because you just can't go around slicing up and slicing people up. You have to be responsible. You have to, is is you can, the sword of truth can be gentle and the sword of truth can be fierce. So you have to know which, when and when, when and how to use that sword, right? Somebody is a professional dancer or likes to dance or should be dancing because I, I, that's one of the things. If you're low, if you're feeling low, you're down or you are feeling the pressure or you're going through something, you turn on the music, you got to move your body, that helps. When you move your body and you dance, that puts you in another space, another time. It puts you up, it elevates you. So... Somebody is dancing or somebody needs to dance or somebody is a dancer, a professional dancer, okay? All right, so somebody went to a tarot reader. Um, okay, so this tarot reader has told this person that you have moved on, that you're not interested in them. Um, you've already told this person you've actually moved on from this person. You actually have... Um, started dating starting to think of out the box starting to put yourself out there you might have met some people you might have dated some people you might be dating some guys dating some girls you may be putting yourself really really out there on the dating scene you're not really thinking about this person because you're done with that that's a closed chapter but this person is holding on to you this person is holding on for trying to get another chance um trying to um, move, maneuver their way back into your life because they just can't let you go. They can't think that that void, that void that you, that that place you used to feel feel the for them is now a void, and they just they they need it back. They need it back. But what it is, they need to fill their own void, give themselves their own self love and value, um, value them their own self, and and fill their own void and. Feel that own happiness. Make them make their own self happy. They can only do that, not you. Yeah, you felt that void, but that's when you didn't know better. But now you know better. You know that you need to feel your own void. You need to make your own self happy. You give your own self love. You give your own self what you need. And if you find someone that's compatible to you, that's willing to come alongside with you and enhance what you already got, that's a blessing. But it's not that person's responsibility to make you happy. It's not that person's responsibility to fill your void. It's not it's not someone's else responsibility to um uh, to to um uh love you like you love yourself. See you another person can't love you more than you love your own self you have to love you you have to feel that boy you have to make your own self smile and make your own self happy you got to look at your own self and tell your own self mm, you looking good mm, you look at you this way you that way girl you feel 
fierce. Oh, you handsome. You know, you have to tell your own self that you look good. You have to tell your own self that you smell good. You, did, you don't depend on other people to value you. You value your own self. That's the key. And this person has to learn that. And that's why spirit is not going to allow this to this this situation to unfold. It's going to be met with the sword of truth. This person is going to be met with the sword of truth. And they, they, they're not going to like it. All right. So they went to a tarot reader. The tarot reader told them the truth that you've moved on. This person is still trying to figure out a way to maneuver their way in because they don't want to accept. No, they don't want it. They're stubborn. They, they're stubborn. They don't want to accept no for an answer. You know, they want what they want. It's just the bottom line. And I'm going to fight for it, is what this person is saying. But what are you fighting for? What are you fighting for? If somebody else has moved on, what are you fighting for? Instead of fighting for somebody else, you need to be fighting for your own self. Feeding your own soul, fighting for your own survival, fighting for your uh, a mindset to be changed and renewed, and and you value yourself. That's what that's what you need to be fighting for, not fighting for this person because this person is set to be moved on in another relationship, another uh, 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 transient uh, time and space. They 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 getting ready to move on. And when they move on, if you're not ready, because I, I got both of them, the projected and the protected. I got to say that. When this person actually moves on, and spirit try to show you that this was this is what I mean. I mean, I mean no, because it's really not the person, it's spirit. Spirit said no. I got something better for you. I got something that you need to learn. You need to do so you can have. Y'all two different people going in two different directions. Not because this person wants to. It's because I say so. It's because I, we signed a deal. We signed a contract. And this person here is supposed to be with this person. This person here is supposed to be doing this. This person here is supposed to be learning this. This person here is supposed to be doing that. And you, on the other hand. I got something special for you too. But your mind ain't right. Your heart not right. And until I can transcend and get that, get your heart and your mind to align with what we got going on for you, you're going to have to go through some hurt and some pain and some suffering until you can come along and go with the program that you're supposed to be going on with. We got a plan and we got a purpose and a destiny. We got a timeline that we working on and you working against it. So you're going to have to go through some hardships and some suffering and some pains until you can understand that I am source. I am God. I tell you which way to go. I designed you and created you. And you we, we made an agreement. And you stuck in a place where you want to have sex and you want to try to dominate somebody. And you want to be with somebody because they got the bombs, diggity sex, or they feel a void, or they feel they make you feel you feel like they make you happy. But that's not what we signed up for. We signed up for you to learn how to love yourself. And you feel your own voice and you make your own self happy. You buy your own self flowers. You buy your own self shoes. And you buy your own self gifts. And you buy your own self whatever it is that you like. We already wrote it down. We already know. Your, me and your soul, we already know. But you're not going along with it. Your mind and your heart not going along with it. You're not in alignment with us. So you got to go through some things until you understand what we talking about. Now that could be the projected. I don't think it's the protected. I think the protected is going on and the, project, the projected person is trying to project and trying to get back in to the graces is the projected. So projected, you please listen to what spirit is saying so you don't have to go through some undue stress and strain. And align yourself because why go why go through all that? 
at the end of the day, you got somebody that signed on the dotted line for you. You got somebody here that's for you. That's purposely for you. Your soul and your salvation. But it is not this person. This person is assigned to someone else. They just was with you so you guys could learn a lesson. The lesson should be learned by now. And it is self-love. But you the uh, but you and fit you where it go in. Okay, because I could say it's the projected and it could be somebody else. But what I'm saying to you is that the lesson needs to be learned. And it, the lesson is self-love to value yourself more than you value another person. To love yourself. Fill your own self with love. Stop focusing on somebody else and wanting somebody else to love you more than you love your own self. Mm -mm, it don't work like that. So learn the lesson. Get it together. And know that you signed a contract, not for this person, for someone else. This person signed a contract for you to learn the lessons together. They learned the lesson and they moved on. You still stuck. So it's time to move on. It's time for you to go on your journey to love yourself because you're beautiful. You are absolutely beautiful absolutely beautiful you just got some work that you got to do you just got stuck you just got lost you need to find yourself again stop projecting your negativity on somebody else forgive yourself forgive that person acknowledge it move on okay all right what else we got here we got Take action. Spirit wants you to take action. Spirit wants you to hit the ground running. Hit the ground running. You got work to do. You need to take action on what this is I'm talking about. It's this journey that you need to go on. You need to leave this person alone. You need to start looking at your own self, looking at your own value and your worth. Stop looking at the negative things about you, things that you don't like about yourself. Those are lies. You're telling yourself lies. You believe, you believe in lies. You believe in old, outdated thinking. Somebody, somebody, something somebody told you that you never was going to be nothing. You was ugly. Those are lies. Those are lies. You start, stop believe in the lies and let's believe the truth what do god say about you what do the divine say about you and if you don't know ask they will tell you all right so this has been your reading Taurus. i could go on and on and on but i gotta stop right um hit the comments hit the emojis let a sister know how you how i did let a sister know you're still rocking with her with the emojis, all right? Um, thumbs up, thumbs down, just thumbs the video. It helps the channel. Thank you for all your um, likes and thank you for all your um, messages. I appreciate it, all right? Share, share, share. Put it on your website, social medias, all of that. Share. Don't keep the videos to yourself. Um, subscribe. <laughs> um sending you um no 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 go to the description box all of my information is there uh social media is there don't just join the social media go and look at the content it's timeless whenever you click on it it is your reading at that time it don't matter what date is on it all right um it's timeless okay so with all of that said i'm sending you love i'm sending healing your way and trinity is out